There has been a series of terrible and unsightly events happening around the gym these few weeks. Gym enthusiast and self-critic En Hong has more. We are seeing signs of horrendous form and movements that may cause injuries and show imbalances. The local form police have taken video footage and are planning to analyze them today. This event has taken some people off guard since the weights lifted are decent for the average gym goer. However, authorities have gotten tips from professionals through the internet to help solve the issues that we will be seeing today. Insane Fitness News, I am En Hong Pang. Welcome to another video. As you saw from my little uh, skit earlier, and if you remember from what I said last week, we are going to be analyzing some of my clips that I've taken throughout this course of um, this program, and we're going to analyze it a little bit to see what problems I have in some of my form and how it could lead to my injuries and also how we're planning to fix it or how I have already started to fix it. So yeah, let's jump straight into it. All right, so this first video that we're going to watch is of me hitting 425, my max, like two or three weeks before I started the program. So let's watch it here in real time. I'm not sure if you guys caught the problem, but there are mainly two problems with uh, my squat form right there. Uh, and we're going to talk about it right here. The first one is at the bottom of the squat. If you look and zoom in at my right ankle, you'll see that it inverts inward. And what happens is all my weight is shifted over to my left foot. Uh, so the reason that my ankle inverts is because of a couple of things. One is because my right ankle is not as flexible or mobile as my left one. And also my right glute has trouble contracting because of a groin injury on my right groin that I had a couple months ago as well. And so all of that added together just makes it so that all the stress is put onto my left foot. So what happens is that most of the weight is not distributed across both of my feet, causing an imbalance there. So what I have been trying to do is this next clip where I try to focus on pushing my knee out. So that's my cue, right? I try to push my right knee out and try to focus on not just pushing off of my left foot, but I try to lean more to my right. And I try to make sure my whole foot on my right foot is planted and pushing from the floor. And then with my knees pointed outward, that allows me to have a spread base. And that hopefully helps me to evenly distribute the weight across both of my feet. So as you can see here, it looks a lot better. My right ankle isn't inverting anymore. And yes, although pointing the toes outward a little bit isn't ideal. Um, ideally, my ankles are flexible enough where they can both point pretty straightforward. And uh, we're going to be working on that, my ankle mobility. But for now, this will have to do where both of the feet are actually pushing off the floor at the same time. As for my glutes activating, um, I th it's also more of a conscious thing that I think about. If I just do a squat regularly, I don't think about it. But if I actually go and think about it, I start squeezing my glute more. And that also helps with my ankle not turning inward. The next issue with my squat, so let's pull it up again is not anything to do with the leg, but actually with my back. So if you look at after I re-rack, even as the bar is sitting on my back, you can kind of see an imbalance there. You can see that my right elbow is pulled back much further than my left elbow is. So the issue here is either shoulder tightness, lat tightness, or me just not having the stability in my lats for me to lock it down. And I think it might be a combination of everything, but in this case, it's more of lat tightness in my left lat and also stability in the lat. So if we watch what happens during the squat, once we reach the bottom, you can see very clearly that my right lat is still activated but my left elbow has dropped so far 
that my lat isn't activated anymore. And this causes the bar to be uneven on my back. And it also had something to do, I guess, with my feet and my weight shifting over to my left because now all the weights, you know, just tilting over. And so everything added together just gave me really bad form on my squat. Uh, moving on to the next video, you can also kind of see that this lat problem doesn't just involve my squat. This lat problem is actually uh, affecting things like my back. So let's look at me here doing some cable rows. I took the video directly from behind my back so you can see the difference. So if you look at the pull, immediately you can see that I'm kind of tilted to the left, right? Um, it's not straight. And my right elbow is pulling back further. So it's actually contracting nicer than my left. What happens is on my right side, when we're at the full squeeze, you can see um, everything contracting, like my upper traps, you can see my middle traps, you can see my rear delts, lats, everything is contracted well. However, on the left, you can't see my upper traps as much. You can't see much of the musculature that's actually supposed to be worked on during a row. And it's also very lopsided. It's not as abducted as my right side was. So in this case, I believe it's more of a stability issue, which creates more imbalances here. And this is the main problem that I'm trying to get to. When it comes to the bench press, I'd say that is why my left shoulder hurts because I haven't been stabilizing my left lat properly, maybe at all. I mean, it feels like I am because during the setup and stuff, but maybe during my actual repetition of doing the bench press, what happens is I set up okay or decent, but then when it comes to the pressing movement, when I get to the bottom, my lat loses all contraction and it just starts to loosen. And what happens is uh, my shoulder takes over. And let me show you an example of that. Right away, as I pick up the bar, you already can see the difference. You can see that my left uh, arm is pushed forward a little bit, like my shoulder is sticking out. I think I'm being stable, but what I'm doing instead of locking my lats in is to actually push my shoulder in front like this so that it creates the image of stability, but it's actually not stable. My shoulders are not retracted. They're not pulled back. They're actually pushed forward, which means that most of my movement is coming from my shoulder. And that's where I think my main injury is coming from at the moment. And so let's look at the actual repetition. When I go down, you can see the bar is slanted towards my right because my right side is locked in. It's done right. But my left side is not, so it's sticking out. And what happens is when I push, my shoulder takes over. And so the bar is crooked the whole time I am doing my bench movements. Uh, another example of that, all right, you can also kind of see here when I'm doing dumbbell presses, my left elbow will be more tucked in than my right. And so my right side is flared out a little more while it's locked in. My left side is not as locked in, but it's tucked closer to the body. It looks like the issue might be small, but it is an issue nonetheless. You can see that when I lie down, it feels like I'm lying straight, but you can see I'm also slanted more to my left. So maybe if I lay down a little more to my right, there'd be more space for my left back to be on the bench and it could be more stable. Um, but that's also something I'm trying to be a little more conscious about where I'm not, you know, half falling off the bench on the left side. So there's no stability there. So yeah, those are the main issues that I've seen. It's mainly that inversion of my right ankle it is also the not activating or firing my right glute that also has to deal with my right ankle mobility. And then the other main problem that I have is my left lat not locking in properly and maybe has some flexibility issues as well. So uh, those are the issues I'm trying to fix while doing this prep. Um, there's a good reason why, you know, recording helps a lot. You're able to see the issue right away, try to fix it. And also you can also go back and look at it, but uh, just um, being able to keep practicing whatever 
lift that you're doing and to be able to do it better is a huge benefit of having a set program and uh, that will just keep you on track and hopefully help you achieve the most you are able to after you fix your form. So I hope this video was beneficial for you. Um, don't be scared to go and record yourself. Sometimes, yes, it might be a little awkward. I'm still really awkward around it, especially when there are a lot of people at the gym. But if you really do have nagging issues, it helps to go and take a video, analyze your form, and then uh, go and break it down from the bottom to the top. And then if you don't know why something is away, there are some really good YouTube channels you can go and check out. You can check out Squat University. He's a doctor of physical therapy and um, he does a lot of videos even on instagram he does shorts and stuff where he breaks down clients forms and he explains what the issue is and also exercise that he uses to help them out so you should check him out that was squat university he helped me a lot through his videos in identifying problems and also with exercise that i can use to help strengthen the muscles that are weak for me which is why I am super stoked for this to come in. Got a nice little box here. It's a little bit of a home improvement. So previously, if you didn't know, I have this desk, but uh, the only thing I have to sit in the desk with is this stool, you see? And that just means my posture is horrible and I have nothing to lean my back on. So this lovely box, is going to be like an office chair with a back to it and I can lean back and have something to support my back with. So that will help with my posture. That will also help with my lower back not hurting as much. But of course I still need to do other things like stretching out my lats, working on my ankle mobility and uh, things of that sort. But I'm gonna build this now and then let's see what the end product looks like a few moments later all right i'm done building it literally took 10 minutes and uh it's really simple but uh here we go that's what it looks like i well if i had a preference i would have gotten you know like a racing back chair and all that kind of stuff gaming chair but because we're just trying to match everything in the house like you know all the different browns and stuff so we decided to get a chair that was darker brown and I think it matches my desk. Look at that. See brown hair, brown hair, brown everywhere. And so it matches that way. So hopefully this will help my back issue a little bit. But at the same time, like I said before, I'll fix all the other problems, strengthen them, and hopefully I come back stronger than ever. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one.